Nurses from across England will lobby the NHS today over the pace of reform, although protests over the state of the National Health Service are by no means new. Staff say there's an unprecedented head of steam building up. These are the main complaints that they have. Sudden budget cuts, which threaten patients, they say, and jobs. Rapid top-down change, which has hit morale. And the threat to the National Health Service's values brought about by bringing in the private sector. Well, we can go live now to our political correspondent, Glenn Glen Glaser, at Westminster, ahead of PMQs, not long off. But this debate about the NHS, this protest, will cast some shadow, Glenn. Well, I'm sure it'll probably come up at uh, PMQs uh, today, Colin. Uh, NHS doctors, nurses and some patients lobbying their MPs, uh, protesting against what they say are cuts uh, in the National Health Service. I've got two of the uh, protesters with me, Mike Smith, who's an accident and emergency nurse in South East London, Tim San Sandal, who's a microbiologist at the National uh, Blood uh, Centre. Uh, Mike Smith, uh, you work at the Sharp End in, in A&E. Just tell us what the demonstration today is about. Well, we're here representing all NHS workers. It's not a union thing. We're here together because we're very concerned about the cuts that are going on across the NHS, and we really want to get that message across to our MPs today. What is morale like uh, amongst your colleagues, people working in the, in the NHS at the moment? Well, there's a lot of uh, upset, really, because, you know, everybody's post potentially is under threat, particularly in those trusts that are seen as being in deficit. And our understanding is that that might be as much as 21,000 posts. So, yes, there's a great deal of concern out there. Now, Tim Sandal, the Prime Minister at Prime Minister's Questions last week, uh, refuted that allegation. He said it's not 20,000 cuts. Actually, 300,000 more people work in the health service now than, uh, than in 1997. Do you accept that argument at all? Um, no, I don't. Um, where I work, we've already seen a 10% cut to the workforce and more planned. It's um, redundancies and the threat of privatisation. So have things got better or worse in the NHS, given the amount of money that's been poured into it over the last nine years? Um, I think initially things, you did see an improvement sort of 97 to 2001, but over the last few years, and this last year in particular, it's uh, more work uh, for less money. Uh, and Mike Smith